Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. So as I said in my previous video session, before starting the lab experiments, we shall discuss on the different networking devices that are used in the lab experiments. So the previous video session I have explained you about the hub which operates on the physical layer of the OSI model. The next one in the list is a repeater. A repeater also operates at the physical layer of the OSI model. It is used to regenerate the signal over the same network before it becomes too weak. Suppose let us assume that you have certain devices connected okay, in the network fine, in this manner. Now these uh, devices are going to send the signal to other devices over the other part of the network. Now when the signal starts moving from this particular node, let us assume that this node is sending the signal to some other node in the other part of the network, then definitely the signal when it starts moving or if this distance is too large, the signal becomes weak. That means the intensity of the signal is becoming low now as it moves from this end of the network to the other part of the network. So in order to increase the intensity of the signal, we can place a device. Suppose let us assume that the signal starts uh, with a very uh, high intensity, but as it travels over the distance, it starts becoming very low. This signal becomes very low as it travels over this particular transmission medium. Then if you are using the repeater, then the repeater will increase the strength of the signal and we are able to retrieve the original signal whatever was sent okay by from the source node that particular signal you can uh, see it is appearing at the other end of the repeater these repeaters do not amplify but increases the strength of the signal because amplification is what it is a process of increasing the magnitude of the signal once we say magnitude of the signal let us assume that if the signal is x then the amplifier can make it 2x 4x like this it can <coughs> increases the magnitude of the signal but for the repeater if the original signal is x the restored signal is also x so this is the main difference between the amplifier and the repeater and moreover the repeaters cannot check the mac address of the device like hub main function of the repeater is what to increase the intensity of the signal but what exactly is happening is repeater is also forwarding that signal to the other part of the network let us assume that if this is the node A which wants to send the signal to B, when the signal starts moving from this end, this particular repeater when it receives the signal, it forwards the signal also to the other end of the network. That means what it is not able to identify any device with the MAC address. Hence, it keeps forwarding that particular signal to the other. Though actually if it was an intelligent device or if it was identifying the devices with the MAC address, it would have not forwarded this signal to the other part of the network because you can see that the destination host itself is on this part of the link only. So you can place the repeater at a distance of 200 meters. What is the maximum distance in the network? Depending on that, the distance to place the repeater can be decided it, it is not always 200 meters it can be 100 meters also or it can be more than 200 meters also so depending on the distance in the network this positioning of the repeater is decided and it is not that just one repeater is placed depending on how long this distance is more number of repeaters can also be placed here and the intensity of the signal can be restored if the transmission medium is fiber or optics it can make the signal travel up to 60 kilometers without becoming weak so what cable you are using here the type of the cable matters here to decide the position of the repeater that has to get placed so this is all about the repeater so if you find this session useful please like share and subscribe to my channel